Hey chickadees, I hope you're well and I hope you've had a really good few months. I have been really, really, really busy. Um, I didn't get as many of my summer plans done that I wanted, which is, I'm a bit miffed about. So I wanted to come on here and tell you about what I've completed this summer and also my autumn plans. So as I mentioned in my summer plans video, I did have two festivals to go to and they just took up more time than I was expecting. You know, they take up a good five days themselves and then I'd come home and I'd be knackered and I just didn't want to sew. And then we had a month and a bit long heat wave and it was just, there was no motivation there at all. So I didn't get as much done. But the things I did get done are the Silverado corset. So this one here. I do have a blog post about this and I'll link that down below for you and I wear it quite a lot now like it is so comfortable um, and the second thing I made is a pair of stays which is these here and it is they are so pretty I love them they, they are oh really really nice i haven't got warm photos of them yet because i finished them just before we went to shambhala and i was going to wear them at shambhala but it the weather was just really naff it was cold and was, most of sunday it rained so i just didn't get to wear the outfit that i planned which was a bit annoying but i'll get worn photos at some point and there will be an article about this up soon as it is one of my make nines both of those were one of my make nines and I'm actually doing really well with them. I say in the blog about the Silverado corset, I've got six out of nine done already, which is really, really good. And the other thing I did in summer was I released my very first pattern, which I'm really excited about. You can find it on my Etsy and I'll post a link for it down below. It's for bloomers. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm really proud so <clears throat> the three make nines i have left are the theodore trousers from free sewing pajamas and i will be using one of the patterns i got off my um pattern partner in the kittenish behavior swap it's i can't remember which one it is but i'll link it down below for you i got two and i picked one to do and then the third make is the Sven sweater. Now I'm actually wearing my wearable twirl at the moment. Um, it's probably still a bit too warm to do it, but I've just, I've been cycling. Um, and when you stop exercising, you just, I, well, at least me, I get suddenly really cold. So I've just popped my jumper on. Um, it's out of the um, Pontaroma from Fairy Fabric Godmother um in this uh damask kind of flocked pattern so this is a wearable twirl i'm going to make a, a v-neck version and that's going to be my make nine kind of thing but yeah this is really comfy to wear and other things i'm going to make there's quite a lot um i'm gonna pop all the links down below uh oh or the sven's first the the Sven sweater is also from freesewing.org and I'm also going to make some scrap skirts. Now I was meant to make one in August but as I said I had two festivals to go to and it was just really busy. So I'm going to try and do both the scrap velvet and scrap Georgette skirts in September. And then in October I want to make a blouse based off a uh, 1890s fashion plate which I'll link down below and uh, it's going to have kind of a yoke in a patterned sateen material I've got some lace left and probably the rest of it is going to be just plain black cotton something like that but I, I want to do something really 1890s and I'm considering using the sleeve pattern that I got at the same time as the pyjama patterns and the kitten behaviour swap 
and it is a truly Victorian, yeah, truly Victorian kind of set of sleeves from the 1890s and I'm considering using one of those for the shirt, I think it would be really really cool. And then in November I want to make an Edwardian inspired longer skirt out of some Laura Ashley Kingly fabric in the navy colourway, it's so pretty. I have it in the gold and I've made a dress out of the gold one but then I got some navy from my mum um, and immediately I knew what I wanted to do with it. So those are my plans. I'm really excited to get back in the studio and start sewing. I, I haven't been in there much over summer and I, I kind of missed it. So I'm really excited to get back in. I've been working on the Theodore trousers already. I have everything cut out and marked and I've started putting things together. And it's coming along really nicely. Um, and they're going to be for my other half so I hope he enjoys them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will get everything or more things made than I did during summer and I'll have blog posts about all my make nines. I'll leave the blog links down below for the Silverado corset and I will get on with writing the one for the stays as well. So if you want to check the down bar for that and watch down there, if you want to like, comment and subscribe, that would be really, really helpful and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.